It is in no one's interest, no one's at all, for the bitterness and the division to linger on. I see only one way to achieve that. It is already agreed that Parliament must pass legislation giving effect to the deal. A meaningful vote has been promised. This must be a decisive vote in which Parliament can accept or reject the final outcome or send the negotiators back to seek improvements or order a referendum so the public may approve what has been determined. That is what parliamentary sovereignty really means. But to minimize divisions in our country and between and within the political parties, I believe the government should take a further very brave and bold decision. I believe they should invite Parliament to accept or reject the final outcome on a free vote. I know the instinct historically of every government is to oppose free votes. But the government should weigh the advantages of having one very carefully. They may find it is in their own interest to do so. There are some very practical reasons in favour of a free vote. Brexit is a unique decision. It will affect the lives of the British nation for generations to come. And if it flops, there will be the most terrible backlash. Leaving Europe is an issue so far-reaching, so permanent, so overarching, that it will have an impact on all our lives, and most especially on the young and their futures. With only 12 months to go, we need answers, not aspirations. This, is, this decision is far more than a party issue. It's about the future of our United Kingdom and everyone who lives in it. That is what matters. We now have not just individuals who are participants in the pro or anti uh, Brexit debate, but dispassionate observers who have done a careful analysis of our economy over the next 15 years, who unanimously, with the single exception of economists for Brexit, all say that in every region, over that period of time, we are going to be worse off. So those warnings, nobody can be sure, they're forecasts, nobody can be sure they'll be absolutely correct. But even though there is a tendency to disparage experts, I think I'd rather believe Nobel Prize winners and distinguished economists than people who do their sums on the back of an envelope. But personally, I'm rather in favour of experts. I would much rather, if I were going to have a tooth pulled, I'd much rather go to an expert than not. We are going to be worse off. And by we, I don't only mean the country as a whole and business. And I don't particularly mean the well-heeled and better off who will survive anyway. I mean the people who are at the bottom of the heap, who are the people who usually get hurt first when the economy begins to decline. And it's about time we began to look at the reality of what Brexit will mean for those people. If we need a greater equality in our society, and my goodness, we still do, then we need to look at their interests. And rather than just looking at it, we need to turn to policies that would actually prevent them getting worse off and help them become a little better off.